What's going on? This is Altone, and this is the Simic GS600 and a collision light for drones. In the US, if you want to fly your drone at night, you need to be Part 107 certified with all the appropriate current training, and you need to have on your drone an anti-collision light that is viewable from at least three miles. And this Simic GS600 anti-collision light does that for you very well. It is rated at actually 3.7 miles of visibility. Now I've not been able to test that myself, but I have taken it out and flown it with this little anti-collision light on and been able to actually see my drone pretty, pretty well. So the charging time on this little light is a little bit over an hour and it supposedly will give you at least about six hours of actual operation time. And the battery in this little guy is a 500 mega amp hour battery. And the thing that I think that makes this little light as bright as it is, is on the front it has three rows of five LEDs, multicolored or RGB LEDs, for a total of 15. And they actually produce three different colors and two different strobe patterns per color. So you have basically six different modes that you can fly them in. And this little light only weighs 22 grams. However, the thing that you want to know is that something like for a Mini 2 that is right at 249 grams, if you add a light to it, it now goes over that 250 gram mark at takeoff weight. So that means you do need to register your drone in the US. So what actually comes in the box with this little light? The light comes with this nice little metal case. I don't know what type of material this case is actually made out of, but it is a nice little case. And inside the case, you get your Simic GS600 and a collision light, USB to USB-C charging cable. You get two 3M dual lock fasteners, and then you get three 3M double-sided tape permanent mounts. So on the top, along with all the LEDs, what you'll see here is you have a little power button. You press and hold it for two seconds, and the light will come on and start strobing usually in a white light setting. And then to change between the modes, the six modes that this light actually has, you just tap on the, or momentarily press on the power button and it will cycle through each one of the modes. Each one of the colors, white, green, and red, have two different flash patterns. So you have one quick flash and one that's a little bit slower flash pattern for each one of those colors. On the bottom here is where your USB-C cable is and on the very bottom is just a little screw and if I didn't have this little bit of Velcro here, you can see through it and actually see the battery. For me, I put Velcro on them because that's what I use on all of my drones. That way it's easy for me to move it from one drone to, to the next. But I do like the dual lock system. So I may decide that I'm going to switch to this and use this on multiple drones so I can actually easily swap this light out from one drone to the other. And when you're charging the SMK GS600 and a collision light, the LED closest to the power button will turn blue and will stay on while it's charging. Once it completes charging, that blue light will go off. So that's the Simic GS600 and a collision light rated for 3.7 miles. So if you want to fly at night, make sure you get yourself one of these. I think it's a great product. It's been working for me very well so far. I've had it for quite a few months. I hope this helps you in some way. Have a fantastic day. Talk to you soon.